Hello gamers, my name is Seated Gamer and welcome back to another booster opening video. We have Kaladesh, we're just going to crack right in and hope that the camera doesn't decide to autofocus myself into oblivion. There we are, that's that good. Ah, that's, that's some good focus. Alright, first up, Ninth Bridge Patrol, 2 mana, 1 and a white for a 1-1 one, one dwarf soldier. Whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on him. This is leaves the battlefield, not dies, so it works on exile, bouncing, returning to hand, flickering, so many things that this works on, so it's not actually a terrible creature if you can manage to keep it on the battlefield. Oh yeah, not bad. Uh, moving on, we get an Aether Theorist, one in a blue for a 1-3 Vidalcan Rogue. When it enters, you get 3 energy, you can tap and pay an energy to scry 1. This card's fine, it, it scries things, it can chump lock servos. It's fine. Uh, moving on. Ambitious Aetherborn. 4 and a black for a 4-3 Aetherborn Artificer with Fabricate 1. This guy can deal some damage. Like if, they're, if they've got a bunch of 3-2s or 2-3s or whatever and you put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on this guy, he will just eat up all of their creatures. And it works. It works well. Moving on. Cal Prowler, 4 green green for a 6-6 six, six worm. Speaking of eating up creatures, this guy on attack or defense, you're probably getting rid of at least one creature there. Which means another one of your creatures can get through fine. But yeah, not bad. Moving on. Larger than life, 1 and a green sorcery. Tug creature gets plus 4, plus 4 and gains trample until end of turn. Speaking of eating up creatures, this guy does this well. Like, if you have... It doesn't matter what you have, you're making it big enough to deal some serious damage. Yeah, not bad. Moving on. Revoke Privileges. Two and a white for an enchantment. Enchant creature can't... Oh, enchantment aura. Enchanted creature can't attack, block, or crew vehicles. If you want to lock down one of their big dudes, such as a cow prowler, then this just works. It just works. Like It just locks down one of their creatures. But yeah, not bad. Uh, next up, Glassblower's Puzzle Knot. Two mana for an artifact. When it enters the battlefield, scry two and get two energy. You can pay two and a blue and sacrifice it to scry two and get two energy. This is fine. I like this card. Like, scrying two is glorious. Getting two energy. You've probably got a way to use the energy if you've got this in your deck. And if not, then this is two mana, scry two, which... Not that strong, but it can be extraordinarily helpful. But yeah, not bad. Moving on though. Rush of Vitality. One and a black for an instant. Target creature gets plus one plus and gains lifelink and indestructible until end of turn. This is a very decent combat trick. And what Wizards has done is they've basically removed Regenerate and put in Indestructible instead. So, yeah. Not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, next up though, Malfunction, 3 and a blue for an enchantment aura, enchant artifact or creature, when it enters, tap enchanted permanent, the enchanted permanent doesn't untap during its controller's untap step, if they have an annoying creature with an activated ability or an annoying vehicle that you just want to shut down forever, this is a good way to do it, it's removal in blue, and that's what it do, they don't make them like they used to, moving on though, Aradara Express, 5 mana for an 8-6 Menace, Crew 4, all aboard the Pain Train. This thing can deal some serious damage. You thought the Cal Prowler was bad? Well, welcome to the Pain Train. Yeah, not bad. Moving on though, are we up to Uncommons yet? We are, Ballista Charger, 5 mana for a 6-6 Vehicle. Whenever it attacks, it deals 1 damage to target creature or player with Crew 3. Yeah. This guy, this guy works. This guy works fine. Nothing wrong with this guy. Um, yeah. He attacks, he gets rid of the servo. Or he attacks, he gets rid of a Thopter. Which is probably the better way of doing it. Because then you can make them chump lock with the servo. But yeah. Or if they have nothing on the board, you can just deal an extra damage to them. Which is also fine. But yeah, moving on to our second uncommon. Imperial Voyager. One green blue for a 2-3 Vidalcan Scout. With flying and trample. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you get that many energy counters. This works fantastically with larger than life. 
and any way of doing double strike, which I don't know if there's a way to do it in this set, but there are many ways to do that in Magic. So yeah, Imperial Voyager does some pretty good work a lot of the time. Moving on to our last uncommon, we have Durable Handicraft, a one and a green enchantment. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay one. If you do, put a plus one plus one counter on that creature. That works rather nicely with the Imperial Voyager. If you can put a counter on it, then that means you're getting more energy at the same time. You can also pay five and a green and sacrifice Durable Handicraft to put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control, which is rather nice. Yeah, not bad. Uh, that should be our last uncommon, so on to our rare, which is a Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Welcome to vehicles.deck, I guess. Four mana for a 5-3 artifact vehicle with Trample and Haste. When it enters, it becomes an artifact creature until end of turn, and it has Crew 2. And we have a Foil... No, we have a Forest and a Servo. But yeah, oh, move in the background, don't mind me. Fleet Wheel Cruiser. Not a bad rare. I have some fun with the Batmobile. But yeah, not bad pulls. Pretty happy with that. Uh, definitely like the Imperial Voyager. I don't know how many I had of that, but it's rather nice. But yeah, not bad. Uh, that's going to be it for this booster opening, so I'll see you people next time for some more magic cards. Let's see if we can finally pull a mythic on one of these, eh? See you then.